Hi, my name is Dr. Kathy Calais and I work at Four Paws Animal Hospital in Fredericksburg, Virginia. Today we're going to be talking to you about how we prepare our surgical packs for surgeries and other sterile procedures. Depending on the type of surgical pack that we're preparing, there are a different set of instruments that should be included in each pack. For example, a spay pack is going to have a different set of instruments than a neuter pack. If you look closely, you can also see that there is a small colored band on each surgical instrument in order to help us make sure that the correct instrument goes into the correct color-coded pack. Once you have collected all the appropriate instruments, then they can be transferred into the metal tray the instruments are loaded in a particular fashion every time so that they're in the same order every time when you unwrap the pack. It is also important that the assistant who is preparing the pack count out an exact number of gauze sponges to place in there. It is important that we know exactly how many are in there in order to assure that none are accidentally left behind when the surgery is completed. An indicator strip is also placed inside the tray as this will help us determine whether or not the pack was properly sterilized when it's unwrapped. On the right is a strip that has not been sterilized yet and on the left is a strip that has been sterilized. Once the tray has been filled with the correct instruments an indicator strip and the correct number of gauze sponges, it then needs to be wrapped in these cloth drapes. Most surgical packs are double wrapped and there's a very specific technique that needs to be used in order to wrap them properly. As the second wrap is completed, there's a small pull tab that's left in order to facilitate the appropriate way to open the pack. This allows a non-sterile assistant to pull on the tab to start the unwrapping process of the pack in surgery. By doing it this way, they do not touch the inside surfaces of the pack, which remain sterile, and therefore the surgeon can still touch the inside surfaces. Finally, some tape is applied to keep the pack wrapped snugly throughout the sterilization procedure. The blue tape is just plain old painter's tape, but the most important part is applying a strip of indicator tape. Just like the indicator strips inside the pack, the indicator tape will let us know when this pack has been sterilized properly. The assistant always writes the date that it was prepared, what the pack is, as in what kind of instruments it contains, and also their initials in case there are any questions about the contents of the pack. Once the packs have been prepared, they're loaded into the autoclave for the sterilization process. Once the autoclave is finished, the packs are removed, and you can now see that the indicator tape on the outside has some black stripes on it. This lets us know that the sterilization cycle was completed properly. I hope you found this interesting and we look forward to seeing you soon.